any collection you know which store the value in the sorted order yes a tree set uh, will do in a sorted order i think when you insert itself it will sort the particular uh, thing tree set will sort it i think yes 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 tree set store yeah. the value yeah. in a sorted order yeah. and it is a set yes, yes. that means only uh, unique value there will be no duplicate what is weak hash map weak entries are like you are able to allow them for garbage collection so weak entries uh, we have it uh, we had usually uh, an android like i worked with android as well so we had weak entries in that uh, and we utilized it to store images like because uh, we do not want them in memory every time so if there is uh, any necessity for uh, other than, like other uh, assets to load in in this case or other uh, objects to occupy in memory so we utilize these as like uh, weak hash map so that we are able to release uh, this memory even though it's not a, like even though it's reference we are still able to release it so that it can be utilized for other things to be created what are the disadvantages you feel while working with microservices okay so uh, disadvantages of microservices like means you need to uh, create a very large scale architecture that uh, there are uh, so many components so many actually monitoring and uh, managing actually involve when we when we actually create a, a microservice application means it is actually beneficial for a large scale ap application to make it a, a make it a it as a microservice but uh, not for smaller scale application means you yeah, are not good for a smaller scale application because so many uh, uh, monitoring and um, managing actually uh, yeah involves here and uh, we need also that expertise on those fields uh, means uh, who will manage these things they need to be uh, yeah very expertise on all those uh, technologies and all so suppose you are getting a sql exception while running your code how do you handle that so you said that if some sql exception occurs while we are running the code how yeah. we are going to handle oh okay so sql sql exception might occur in the case like there might be a reason in that case why it would happen uh, some database related activity fails your call fails or something happens then it would give an except sql exception in this case and in that case i think uh, uh, since we have done the exception handling while returning a service call uh, so if database is down if either if we want, do not want user to inform that like something is there then in that case uh, we we would give a proper message as per our requirement like we can say that uh, no data found or basically from that user come to know that no data found is coming or if that no data i found along with that you can pop up uh, some particular exception which would throw and say that your application is not connected or something there are some issue with data some sort of pcsa which we call please contact system administrator or something do you know the internal working of a hash map actually the uh, when we add the um, element input method so the element has get the uh, uh, raises the hash code value and those hash code value hash code value divided by the by default system bucket capacity and if the if the index come on on the behalf of checking uh, the value are stored on the uh, on the bucket number can you tell me what is the difference between checked exception and unchecked exception a checked exception known as compile time and the unchecked exception known as uh, run time in checked exception we can have the like input output output exception sql exception like that and uh, in unchecked exception like automatic exception and null pointer exception hmm. and index not found null pointer exception and yeah like that do you know so can you tell me what are the different advantages of using spring mvc well with spring mvc it is easier for us to actually spawn up uh, so so and get started with very quickly like writing web services and also you know web pages so it is easy to start up Starting with Spring Boot as well, so uh, it helps you to uh, boot up your application or your application uh, creation very easily. So you can create multiple applications very quickly. Uh, also, uh, it helps you to redirect to different pages to calculations as per need. And you know, uh, with uh, uh, Spring MSE as well, it will help you if you are using JSPs. Uh, it will help you to map your build to the page. So, can we have a try block without catch block? Is that possible? Yeah, we can use finally. Like it, the try catch should follow either catch or finally. So if you don't use catch, you can use finally. That's not an issue. So 
so have you used executor framework i mean do you have experience yes, in that i have yes, i have used the fit full set executor new fit full set executor for that I means earlier project i have used that and you that to execute certain task uh, you know, there was a scenario where we needed to call the uh, uh, there was some reports and for that report we needed to call an uh, external api uh, there was a url so after that receiving the response we were uh, needed to update the database so fetch the report created the task object for that and submitted to executor oh. and uh, return the future object when it is uh, or in the future object we just check that whether what was the value it is that completed or not or is completed we mark that batch of particular batch of task as complete we have indexing in databases so mm-hmm. what is the need of indexing so indexing basically it's uh, required to get the data or at uh, like su- suppose i have to take out the data which is in a specific uh, index then i i can directly go to that data instead of traversing the whole whole table basically in your application how you can avoid uh, the deadlock situation or is it possible to do that so multiple threads are trying to trying to get the same resource and there are two resources and each thread is picking i mean lo- already logged uh, with those resources so nobody is saving the resource nobody is getting the resource usually if you use a spring framework it doesn't happen because that is taking care of us and uh, if you do it manually you produce a deadlock manually yes it is possible uh, yeah it, but in spring framework and, also you uh, can get resources that you just have to so it may be like a so but in spring framework also you can get the deadlock situation uh, as of now i have not encountered any mostly flow with spring is like a linear flow so you have like for the okay, for the response if you have different so it either with spring batch it is also the same coming as of now i have not encountered any scenario which uh, have you used actuators yeah actuators this and it is like a health check of uh, application so we have used actuators have you used concurrent hash map in your project and not recently i have used it in past like it uses like hash tables in which like the concurrent hash map that comes up it's like a thread safe so that you have like multiple threads can operate on single or actually without any kind of like complications probably you have object actually where which you divide it into like segments actually based on the level you cannot you cannot like insert null objects into the hash map as a key or a value pair so that's how like it work like based on the segments actually the that space thing like you have like the con- concurrency level set and then you like load it initial capacity with some initial capacity in which domain you have experience banking and financial domain this as say right my current project is in banking client i have experience on banking and financial i was looking for insurance 